Hello and welcome to the Stover Farm Channel. I'm so glad to have you here with me. And Jay Weezy has done it again. Multiple updates have been released for his train pack, both uh, the locomotives, well, I should say all of the packs, the locomotives, the rails, and the cars. New sounds. They're spectacular. So much better uh, than they were originally. Now, for those that are absolutely huge train fans, he does make a mention, you know, not everything is going to be 100% perfect. He is uh, doing everything he can to make it as authentic as possible, but there are just some limitations. But I will say this, it is a huge improvement from the original build, and the original build was awesome to begin with. New dingers, if that's what they're called, or bells. I, again, I, I will preface all saying this. I love trains. Absolutely love trains. No, I know very little about them. You all are far more uh, informed and have far more information on trains than I do. So I'm going to get a lot of this stuff wrong. I'm just passing this along because I'm a huge fan of the pack. I think it adds absolutely uh, such uh, just a huge improvement to the game. Uh, what do we have here? New livery on a number of locomotives. This is a General Electric SP AC4 4400CW. New interior as well. So I believe this has been all updated. Can I turn the lights on? Yeah, there are lights. Listen to the. Well, let me do that again. I'm going to just stop talking because he's completely updated the starting sounds. Here we go. How about that horn? And I don't have much track laid down, but we've got new sounds, new uh, clickety clacks of the tracks, it sounds like. So cool. I think that's authentic. I don't know. Again. Uh, folks that are, you know, real huge train enthusiasts, you'll have to go in and check this out and download it. It's on his itch.io page. Uh, free, public, it's open. It's Mac and PC only, but it is a one of the coolest mods, I think, in the game. Uh, what is this? Amtrak. New Amtrak locomotive. A General Electric... No, excuse me. I got in trouble for doing this earlier. Electromotive Diesel. This is an Amtrak uh, SDB40F. side. Let's take a look at another one. This is a all new livery too on just I think everything. There are now more, um, not manufacturers, but I guess they would be, uh, you know, companies, com transport companies, Union Pacific, GMTX. Again, I apologize. I'm, I do not want to do the train community an injustice um, because I, you know more than I do, but just go check it out. I think you're going to be really, really impressed. Here we're in the... Uh, Another Electromotive Diesel GATX 
GP38-2. I've noticed the graphics are significantly, uh, they're, they're crisper. Um, just really, really, really nice. Check the horn out. I don't think the interior of this one was updated just yet. Again, he's got so much content. Um, I'm sure it's coming. And then I, I didn't put them all down um, because it would take me forever to get them on a track. I actually tried to just buy them from the store and then they they need to be on a track. They need to be properly aligned on a track. And I will say he has completely updated uh, the collisions, the way the suspension works. Derails are vastly improved. It's also significantly easier, in my opinion, to get uh, all of the cars, the locomotives and the cars, on the actual track. Get them on the track. Because if you remember, you have to download um, his updated version of Easy Dev or Lumberjack mod because these trains are so heavy. Uh, the base game Easy Dev, and I, I say that lightly, the Ba there is no base game Easy Dev, but the original release of Easy Dev that came out that does have super strength, it's not powerful enough to pick the trains up. So you've got to use his on his itch.io channel to get the proper weight to lift them up. And then you also need to use Store Deliveries, another mod. And Store Deliveries allows you to just go anywhere. In my particular instance, it's Control Option S. Uh, I can then make the store right here. Because if you don't, you're going to have to go fetch your locomotives and all your train cars from the base store, wherever it is on the map. And that could be a pretty long distance. Unless you want to do that, you could roleplay it. I've seen some folks actually roleplay getting a locomotive from the store over to the tracks. Now, what do we have here? General Electric UPC 40-8. Look inside again. Probably still working on the interior. Um, let's listen to it. So very, very cool. Uh, and then a couple of other things to note that are, I think, really noteworthy. Some new tracks. So this is an incline. This is a 4% incline track. He's got it everywhere from like 1% to 4%. So you can now uh, actually increase your slope and you can go up into the mountains. That could get really interesting for me and I could see me spending hours getting what I built in Convoy, Ohio on No Man's Land. Um, down in the valley up to the main, kind of the top of the mountains up there. And then he's got, you know, there's um, bridges. These are really, really cool. Some new bridges are out. Um, some support structures that are there. And then a really cool thing, and I'll run over here and show you this, a turntable. And you saw this sitting over here. Now, mine has water in it, and the reason why it has water in it is I built it uh, on No Man's Land, and we're down in kind of the valley, and if you remember, No Man's Land has a water uh, layer under it, but if you go under that water layer, you can see kind of how it's built. You have to go into decorations. You have to put the concrete system down first, so this, this concrete um, structure is, is in decorative items, and then you have to go buy the turntable from the store. It's like a vehicle. Now, I have not figured this out completely yet. I don't know if I've done something wrong. Um, it looks awesome. I'm going to have to teach myself how to use it. But you come in, you go into the little house, 
you can turn it on and then I don't know if I don't have it positioned correctly. I'm doing something wrong. It floats. Like, it's actually really cool. It's it When you come in and place it, and I've got it down um, in this hole. And Jay Weezy, if you're out there, you know, tell me what I'm doing wrong. I'm trying to... You basically, again, I'm using super strength. And you get it down in the hole. And it sits there. At least it's supposed to. And then I don't know if you have to lock it in or what, but I'm doing something wrong. Someone else can, that's smarter than I am can figure it out. When I get it working correctly, it's going to be awesome uh, because it is difficult to get your locomotives turned around in the game. So really, just a short video that I, I had to, to hop on and show you because this is so impressive. Again, one of the coolest mods, I think, for the game really since the inception of the game everyone has wanted to have a train pack it's here and kudos to Jay Weezy Construction uh, he is listening to what you're asking for he's making updates he's got a massive pack here uh, and I think he really exemplifies what the modding community is and, and really should be and what we strive for in modding um this is spectacular. Thank you. Kudos to you. Go get it. Go update it if you haven't done it yet. All new sounds, just like you asked for. And we'll see you next time right here on the farm with the Stovers. <laughs>